Hi guys, it's Ronnie from Manhattan, New York. So you guys know I got that natural pregnancy glow. So I decided to beat my face. I'm so out of breath, y'all. Just by standing there and doing my makeup, I'm out of breath. Like I'm extremely tired. <laughs> so on my lips, I have the MAC MAC lip gloss in clear. Um, on my eyes, on the inner tear duct, I have, on the inner quarters of my eyes, I have the elf, and I believe is, it looks like a wedding, a wedding line color to me, and I mixed it so it's kind of brown because I had some brown pigment left on my brush, so it's kind of brown and white on the inner tear duct, and I set it with the MAC translucent with the MAC pigment in the color white and that's over here and then the outer tear ducts is Ricky's discontinued eyeshadow in this pretty pink pretty 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 pink it looks so cute because I'm having a girl so it looks really really cute and I really like it because it's like really bright my eyeliner is some wet and wild blue and then underneath I have on a blue eyeshadow which is also from Ricky's discontinued eyeshadow individual pot collections and that is one of their frost shadows as well underneath I have on a frost shadow and on top I have on that's also the thing like they had like matte shadows frost shadows satin shadows um pigments so it was like fill up a bag a huge bag and when you fill it to the top, it would be $5. And to them, it was like nothing. Like, they was like, you know, like, it didn't matter. They, was, they were actually going to throw out all this makeup, you guys. Like, they stopped selling it, and they usually don't, like, sell it. So um, I convinced them. I was like, no, don't throw it out. Oh, my gosh, this is makeup. And it's still good, right? And they were like, yeah, because I know makeup usually has, like, each makeup usually lasts about 10 years. You know, they say put it in the fridge, put it in the freezer. But, like, I didn't have to do any of that with it. It was just, like, you know, like, it was makeup. So it was a big clear bag, like, like this bag. Like this huge-ass bag. Like this size huge ass bag full of fill it up with as many eyeshadows whatever was in the bucket the bucket had eyeshadows it had eyeliners but at the point in time i just started about my makeup so i wasn't really messing with anything waterproof and i figured i would get more for my buck with eyeshadows and at first it was fill up the bag for a dollar like a bag of this much makeup for one dollar because it's individual pots of eyeshadows and it's packaged like how um it's packaged like how mac concealers are packaged in the black container so i was like oh my gosh you know like like save the world like this makeup is so like worth money so i ran in there like three times and i was like yeah you know all you gotta do is you know sell it it's gonna make the company money and the lady, she listened to me. She was a supervisor there, and she listened to me. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Ricky's also be having, like, pop-up shops where they open a location for a limited amount of times because, you know, Ricky's is known for their Ricky's costumes and all that stuff. So they'll have locations where they'll have pop-up shops, and their, their costumes will be at discounted prices and full prices. Like, if it was last year's hottest costume, the next year they sell it for, like, $5. And they have all sizes, all different type of costumes. And it keeps you, like, in the what was last year's popping costume. Because sometimes, like, if you're not if you're not keeping up with the Halloween costume, like, Halloween's coming up again. And I really haven't been keeping up with the Halloween costumes and, like, what's, what's been going on and stuff like that. I looked here and there in, like, the game, the gamer, gamer worlds and stuff like that. But I really haven't been keeping up with that stuff. And I just think, like, it's mad cool. Like, they, they actually create games from scratch on their computers. And I think that's, like, real cool. But I don't have the patience to constantly be programming, deprogramming, and all that stuff. Like, that takes a lot of a lot of patience and a lot of focus. And I'm, like, if I can't do it in five minutes, and it, it takes a while. Like, each game takes, like, an hour to make once you know how to make it. But um, my blush is from my Beauty Streets collection. Illuminator is back, Becca Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Hill Illuminator. And so I'm going to keep this on the tip of my nose, on my chin. Um, brow bone highlight. Brow, bones, brow 
I did my eyebrows with the NYX Eyebrow Cake in the color Blonde. Blonde. Um, and um, it's actually the, that this is actually the lighter brown. So they have two brown palettes. They have blonde and brown. And on um, both of them, they have brown colors. But this is actually the blonde palette. So it's the lighter browns. And the other one has two darker browns. Um, yeah. And then I set it with the wax that comes in that. Um, underneath my brow bone as brow bone highlight. I also use the MAC pigment. Um, I set my entire face with the Bobbi Brown. And this is supposed to be under eye translucent powder. But I used it for my entire face. And my neck as well. Um, my foundation is Burberry. Blur Bur Burberry. And um, I've actually been using this, this, this Burberry foundation. I've been using it for um, 11 years now. So yeah, my foundation is Burberry and it's really, really, really nice. Like my makeup, my mascara it, that I have on is from Makeup Forever. And I haven't used a wand like this in a really long time, but my eyelashes don't look shorter. They look just as long as they usually do. However, that extra curl that I get from the other the other um, mascara that I use because it has a curl in the wand like this. And so it allows you to just do it real quick. And with this one, I always swivel my, um, my brushes because I want to make sure that it gets each and every eyelash. And you guys, when I say that this mascara is everything, it's everything. When I dip the brush in, and then, and then again, it's a new mascara that I haven't used in such a long time. I used to use Makeup Forever all the time. Um, when I was 17, though, I was 17, so I was nice and young, and I was using makeup forever, <laughs> you know. I'm 26 now, so it's like I'm mad happy. So, um, yeah, so I use that, but this is the makeup look for today. I'm going to see my kids. We're going to eat pizza in the house I'm, and, and play cards. I bought the Uno cards. Um, they were on sale from $10.99 to $5.99 at Target. So I picked up that. We're going to play cards. And they wanted to, like, um, they wanted me to buy them uh, um, uh, one of those airplane, remote airplane um, planes. But I didn't get it because it's really windy outside. And this would not be a good day to fly airplanes. Um at all because it's so windy like if it was like it was like a drone or something because they pack a heavy battery in a drone that would be different but like as for like a a, a airplane like you know the airplanes they usually like weigh less than a pound so to fly an airplane in the air that wouldn't be a, a good idea today because it's really really windy outside and then i set my entire face with the mario Madet. Medicus, Mad, Madicuso spray. Um, I've been using that spray since I was a little girl. I just used to use it on my plain skin and just spray my plain skin just to, like, add a little more, a little more hydration after, after applying my sunscreen. Because I'm so light skinned as you guys see my ears. This is my natural complexion, my ears right here. So um, since the surgery, my natural complexion has come back, and um. Yeah, so uh, my eyes are brown. My eyes are really brown. People are like, I love your eyes. My eyes are dark brown. And when I get scared, like that circle thing gets really, 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 really small. <laughs> but yeah, or like claustrophobic, if like a lot of people come around, I get scared. And then it gets like really, really small. I'm doing my makeup and my pupils are like going really in because I'm so scared. But yeah. Um, yeah, so this is the belly. This is the belly, y'all. I really like these underwear, guys. I hope Victoria's Secret come out with underwear like this again. Um, it is... So, I cannot see my vagina, if you guys can see from where I'm looking. I can't see my vagina anymore. I have to, like, use the camera. So, this is, like, really cute. It's, like, kind of, like, make you feel like a little girl because it has bows on the, both sides. But yet sexy because it has lace. Can you guys see the, the lace on top? I don't know if I, if I could show like the lace on top so it makes you feel like a grown-up because it has um um what do you call this um 
like animal print but then it's blue it's blue and for a while victoria's secret never used to sell like any type of like blue underwear or anything like that like they would always sell like pink and red underwear so i like i contacted them so much time for like green and blue like because they you know they're selling girl underwear woman underwear so they was kind of like embracing the woman and not really like anything that would rem remember you of a boy or anything like that so i'm really happy for this it's really cute especially when i got engaged i really 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 liked colors like this it just made me feel like like, it made me feel so happy. Like, right now I'm pregnant. And, um, you know, so I really, really, really like colors like this. I'm wearing my new ring that I like so much. So, um, oh, any updates in my life? I spoke to my baby father yesterday. I haven't spoke to him. Um, okay, I've been, I'm almost six months pregnant. I didn't speak to him. When I was turning three months pregnant, I didn't have any contact with him i texted him like every four or five weeks or so um and it just kind of reminded me of like my other pregnancies with my other kids um i lived with my daughter's father when i was pregnant until i was about um four and a half months that's when i moved out of his home um but i had my own home but i lived with him and, like, after I moved out, I realized, like, the relationship was so much different. But it was, like, before I moved in, we were dating, and I would spend nights over. So I really didn't understand what was the difference when, like, um, so, yeah. But my baby father was, like, my baby father of this child, it was, like, he was sleeping over, like, almost every night. And then all of a sudden, he was, like, oh, he's too tired to sleep over. And I was, like, what happened? And I asked what happened for, like, two weeks straight. And then I was like, I sound like a freaking parrot. I'm not going to keep asking a grown man what happened. He's older than me. If he feels like he doesn't want to sleep over anymore, that's perfectly fine. And I was angry, though. I was very angry and I was very upset because I felt hurt. And, um, and then after that, I just stopped calling him. Like, if he didn't call me, I didn't call him because I was like, he's not sleeping in my bed no more. I'm pregnant for him. And why the hell is he not sleeping in my bed every night? What does he have to do more important? Like, he can leave from my house and go to work because his job was a couple blocks away from me. His mom is not going to miss him. He lives with his mom and his brother. His mom and his brother is not going to miss him if he's sleeping in my bed because we're, we're starting a family. So I was so mad with that. But then I was so happy because I didn't remember what it was like to have my own space because I shared it with him. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that really, really, really hurt my feelings. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and then, um, that's why I say I'm pregnant. Like, you guys ask me in the comment section a bunch of times. You guys be like, oh, are you with somebody or are you, are you single? And I'm like, I'm a single pregnant lady. <gasps> Because after that, I never really made the effort to get back with him or anything like that because my feelings were so hurt. Um, I don't know. Everybody's different. I carry grudges. I get really angry and I carry grudges. Everybody's always leaving me. If you guys watch my videos, I always say that in my videos. I always be like, everybody's always leaving me. Anybody that's ever gotten close, especially like male companionship, they've always left me. And it's like, is there somebody out there that's better than me or something like that? So I get angry and I carry grudges because I do. <laughs> and so, yeah. So that basically sums it up. So I spoke to him and I kind of like did like FaceTime with him. Um, I kind of like did like FaceTime with him for like 15 minutes after, after two, it's like a month. After a month and a month before that, I did like kind of like FaceTime with him. And then before that, I just like texted him when I felt like texting him updates of my pregnancy. Um, then, um... And 
basically that's what I've been doing like I just been texting him updates if I feel like it because I feel like he should be here he should be at my door he should be knocking I shouldn't be showing him pictures of the sonogram over a text he should actually be holding the sonogram in his hand and actually physically looking at it now I don't care what anybody else says so I hold grudges for this because I'm pregnant and I'm pregnant for him and all this stuff that I get deprived of that other woman they do with their baby fathers makes me very upset. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. I hold a grudge. I feel like I'm deprived. I feel like I'm getting less treatment than any other woman. And then I, you know, I have female friends and they're going, they're, they're, they're pregnant and they're doing these stuff and they're, they're, their baby fathers bring them to the hospital and bring them back home and I'm like where's my baby father I don't even know what he's doing you know I don't even know where he's at <laughs> okay so um yeah I hold grudges I get mad and I'll start yelling because I don't really put my hands I don't really put my hands on my baby fathers um but I get mad and I yell. They'll be like, oh, you know, you just got to hit me sometimes or stuff like that, like stuff that they're used to in their previous relationships. And I'm just like, you're grown. And if you're grown, I'm not putting my hands on you. I'll get mad and I'll yell and then that's it. Like, I won't, I won't even bring up the subject again. I'll just be angry about it. And that's how I do my life. And that's how I function in my life. And that's how I do things. Um, so... I hope I answered the questions that you guys left me on below the videos. If you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below because you guys support me so much. I love you guys. Um, you guys have been such a a support for me like throughout this journey of the past five years that I've been on YouTube. You guys have been so amazing to me. Um, so yeah, I just made five years in February because it started in two thir 2013 and it is 2018 now. So um Thank you guys so much for, you know, telling me to use this outlet as a way to express myself because, again, I'm usually by myself. I'm a single mom. I already have two kids as a single mom. So to revert back to being a single mom shouldn't really be a biggie for me. So I've solely just set my mindset that I'm a single mom and I've been a single mom and it just is what it is. I tried something. It didn't work out. And you know, that's just it. So thumbs up this video, share it, like it, subscribe to my channel, stay updated on me and my life. Be blessed. I'll do the same again. This is Brownie from Manhattan, New York. Mwah!